Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Well, during the summer, most kids fall out of a routine, but one important thing they need to do every day is still eat breakfast. And so do we as adults. Well, here's nutrition expert Michelle Dudash with a few tips to make breakfast easy no matter what time the kids wake up. Hi, Milwaukee. I'm so excited to be here because today we're talking about healthy breakfast for kids. It's that time of year, school is out, the kids love it, but for the adults, this is a less structured time, so it can be a little stressful. Uh, a recent survey showed that more than half of parents say that the breakfast schedule is a big challenge. So what we want to do is make sure we have the most important meal of the day every day. Make sure it's balanced. American Academy of Pediatrics says kids who eat breakfast have better overall health. And the way we have a balanced breakfast is having fruits and vegetables, having whole grains, and having milk. And since June is National Dairy Month, this is a great time to remind ourselves to have milk at the breakfast table. And it doesn't matter if it's low fat, if it's fat, free. All milk has the same nine essential nutrients, including eight grams of high quality protein, which is actually more than you find in an egg. It also has calcium and vitamin D for bone health, and it has vitamin A for skin health. Now, we don't always think about diet and skin health, but an overall balanced diet, which includes three glasses of milk, is really important for healthy skin. Now, the other thing we want to do is plan ahead. I can tell you I'm a busy mom. I have a four-year-old daughter, and planning ahead is so important, especially making sure she's getting the foundation to start her day. And these are smoothie pops, which contain kiwi. We have some blueberries, has milk. So when she starts the day with these, I know she's getting you know, some of the nutrients she needs, from, especially from that milk. So with these, you just take the kiwi, you take the blueberries, you puree it in a blender, with a little honey, with a little lime juice. Then you put it in these paper cups, you pop a little stick in there, pop them in the freezer, and then overnight, the next morning, you have these delicious, creamy smoothie pops. What kid doesn't love a smoothie pop? So they're really great for making ahead and just grab and go. Now, another great recipe, which is so easy because there's not even, you don't even need to cook this recipe. These are cold overnight oats. And here we have rolled oats, we have low fat milk, we have some vanilla. You just shake this up in a mason jar and then the next morning you have delicious creamy oats. So the milk just absorbs, or the, uh, the oats absorb the milk and you can just top it with fruit, you can top it with some nuts, a little honey, and you're getting the protein from the milk there too. And then finally, don't be afraid to keep things simple either because breakfast cereal is actually kids favorite breakfast during the summer months. Uh, so keep a variety of whole grain cereal on hand, make sure it's lower in sugar, and then nine out of 10 kids love milk. So it's the match made in heaven. You can also have them, you, know, you can sprinkle fruit on top, keep their favorite cereal on hand. My daughter loves, of course, the little whole grain heart-shaped oat cereal, so we keep that on hand. And uh, it's, a, it's a winning combination. So for more great recipes, check out thebreakfastproject.com, and you'll also find these recipes as well.